dear black women, I'm sorry. Let me call this one in. Listen, white women just all across the board are terrible allies. guys how are you all doing it's a girl cindy welcome back again to another video if you are new here hi my name is cindy thank you so much for clicking to watch this video so here is the continuation of my last video if you haven't seen it yet please check the comments i'm gonna pin it there so you can please check it out now let's recap this white woman is asking black women why are they not letting them into their space she proceeded to say that she is 2% Nigerian and she is also asking black women why the division? Why are they not working together? Can't they work together? A lot of things she said in this video which didn't sit well with a lot of black people and they stitched her video which I have done and is in the comment if you want to check that video out. Now, her fellow white people are not happy with the questions she was asking and they stitched her video which i have put them together so we can hear you know their responses to her video please check the stitches out i have two percent nigerian i did a video yesterday addressing specifically black women why'd you do that i just wanted to see how long my video would last before being taken down so you knew a woman we have blazed these trails together i'm gonna stop you right there you didn't okay the trail of a black woman and a white woman aren't even on the same path as a matter of fact i'd have to argue that the black woman's path has to avoid the white woman's path for her own safety we did this together we need to stand together you use the term we quite a bit in this trying to cluster all women and that's not the case because if it was you'd just be saying women you'd just be saying women after that, you choose to start asking, blaming black women for alienating themselves or separating themselves. And I feel like you don't understand that that's a mere survival requirement, not instinct, requirement. Why are you alienating? Historically, white women have shown their fangs to dissuade, we'll call it. And those fangs come in many forms. Think crying to gain sympathy. Yes, they're at the park menacingly existing again. Or even starting off videos like this. Dear black women, a high percentage of allies. A high percentage of what? What does your allyship look like besides calling them out and then saying you're doing this? Like, why are you doing this? Separation will lead nowhere. It's so ingrained. You have blinders on like a horse and you can't even see that you're like, you're the oppressor. You're doing it right now. And what constitutes white? Is it? What do you mean what constitutes white? You know what constitutes as white. Right? You have to know. You have to know when you check that little box on that form where you fill it out and write American. Like, you have to know, right? Like, what? Where do you draw the line? Only certain black people? Because I have 2% Nigerian. Oh, still white. Am I allowed in? I think we all should be allowed in because we're women. I can't, I can't believe you actually not only said it, but watched it back and you were like, I'm putting this online. I know a manager hates to see you coming. So what do you mean, let you in? Let you in to what? What exact, what part of the experience is it that you're craving? I don't know if you noticed, but the world is still being run by men. It's like coding every other line here with like condescending. Women had nothing to do with slavery. There it is. It wasn't me, guys. I'm one of the good ones. I've never benefited from the system designed around us. One of the reasons we struggle to fill the gap in intersectionality is the lack of social awareness. You're exhibiting this exact behavior right now. I'm sure we were saying, hey babe, this is pretty effed up because we're nurturing, we're loving, it's wrong. This is why they're trying to get rid of books. You weren't gonna use them even if you had them. Uh, we're Gen X, like we grew up together were so vehemently against it and gen x just grew up together why didn't you solve it then why are we still having the conversation now let me guess you you also think that that's black women's fault 
Come on, guys. We all experience the same struggles. That's why we have things like the Crown Act. Oh! Oh, does that not... That's not a... Okay. I learned so much from the black culture because of desegregation, and I loved it. Working a robin and all night long, puffing a puffing and we're and we're doing the double dutch. You literally just showed that your view of black people is they are entertainment. That's what your awareness level is. This might be the hardest truth of any of my videos. Black people do not need white people. Hear that again. Black people do not need white people. Culturally, economically, in any fashion. White people, our culture would be gone without black people. I want you to think about that. Think about the food you eat. Think about the music you nod your head to. Think about the history of what your nation has fought for and against. What are we? Every day more white women get access to TikTok that don't need to have it. And I'll get you a manager if you can point to Nigeria on a map. Yesterday, addressing specifically black women. Sibling, the patience it took to make it through your video without losing my last fucking wingnet was serious. <sighs> Go look up the casual killing act. Go watch Race to Dinner, Race for Dinner, whichever it is. Um, go read Hood Feminism. Go read an indigenous people's history of the, of the United States and a black woman's history of the United States and an indigenous black history of the United States because the level of ignorance that you have towards what other people go through is staggering, staggering, white woman. The only time y'all want to be an ally, like on big scale, is when something actually touches you. When it actually finally fucking touches you. And black women didn't get the vote the same time fucking white women did. Indigenous people just got to be able to practice their ceremony and be seen in public in groups of more than two in the 19 fucking 70s. And you wonder why we're a little leery? Seriously, go look at the fucking casual killing act. I'll wait. And while you're at it, go look up Manifest Destiny, Kill the Indian, Save the Man, Boarding Schools, the now the foster care system. Are you effing kidding me? There are birth alerts for Native American women across all of Turtle Island. When we have a baby, the government knows and they come and fucking take it half the time. So don't. Don't act like you know what kind of suffering people other than people in a lower, uh, more marginalized status than white women because it's finally touching you and you might have your rights taken away. I'm, I'm beyond not sorry. My rights are all gone. I'm an indigenous disabled US Navy combat veteran in my car right now because I can't afford a hotel room for my caregiver to have surgery. We live in, in, in trailer houses manufactured home in a trailer house and and right now they're trying to kick the, us out the fucking trailer house because that's just too much to look at our poor decrepit asses are just too much to look at don't fucking come to me about why we aren't your allies or why we don't trust you to be an ally because I've gone far and far and far to try to fucking trust you white women as allyship and you have proved me wrong every fucking time. I can hold one hand up to count the amount of white human beings on this planet who have stood in the fire with me. Not when it's comfortable. No, no, no. When you have to sacrifice something. I have tattooed on my body. For those I love, I will sacrifice. What the fuck do you do? Dear black women. So I did a video yesterday. Dear black women. I'm sorry. Let me call this one in. Hold on. Girl, you are in... What the fuck are you doing right now? Okay, listen. White women just all across the board are terrible allies. Period. Period. And, and we did not forge these things together, these milestones. We did not forge them together. Um, if, and that's very easy to prove. Look at when black women got the right to vote versus when white women got the right to vote. And all of these 
cases of liberation, it was always racist. It was always white women. If you look at the pictures, look at those old pictures of the suffragettes. There weren't black women in those pictures. It was white women's movement. They didn't care about the black women. And to this day, black women are paid less. They're disrespected the most. They're like people feel entitled to them, their time, all of this bullshit, which is literally what you're doing right now. You think you're entitled to their time, their space, all of that. And it's, you're not, you're just literally not. And if you, and if you want to be an ally that you claim to be, then you need to just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up and listen to what they're saying. That's all you got to do. I mean, that's all you got to do. Shut the fuck up and listen and follow their lead. It's not that hard. It isn't, but get off your high horse and understand that there are spaces that you are not welcome. And it's historically to protect themselves. So anyway, peace. I'm sorry, black women. I'm sorry. You have to put up with this shit. Mm. Woman, we have blazed these trails together. Ma'am, I'm going to need you to stop right there. You got flack for the, your last video, and, and rightfully so. Um, and you're going to get flack for this one, and, and rightfully so. You did nothing together. They succeeded in spite of you. I mean, hell, you, you, you couldn't even share a bathroom until 1964. While it is true that some African-American suffragists in the North were able to vote with the 19th Amendment, the reality is, is that the majority of black women could not. Oftentimes the tactics of literary tests, poll taxes, voter ID requirements, intimidation, and threats were used against the entirety of the black community as well as the Latin community, the Asian community, and basically anybody who wasn't um, a Mayo sapien. It wasn't until 1965, thanks to the work of women like Fannie Lou Hammer and Diane Nash, that the Voting Rights Act was passed. That applied to everyone. See, had you been in it together, y'all wouldn't have stopped when you got yours. But that's exactly what you did. You stopped when you got yours. No, what people need to do, right? Seriously, stop talking, right? And listen to other people's experiences. Listen to all of them. I promise you. They are not the same as yours. You don't have the right to speak for them. Women had nothing to do with slavery. Literally. So... If women had nothing to do with slavery, who were the men that owned the big houses in the middle of the plantation married to? Oh, it was the good, kind, and caring white women that were just like, I know there's slaves out back, but he's a nice guy. He provides for me. I know that they have their slave catchers and their police forces just out unaliving black people and chasing them with the dogs, and I don't like it, but he's a good man. It's just business. Honey, you haven't been in this with black women from the beginning, okay? And it's not black women and... Black women aren't the problem here, honey. They aren't the ones who invented the racism that you and I benefit from. Okay? That was white men trying to gain wealth and power so that they could get the trophy wives. You know, all those brutalized women who wanted proximity to power and were like, he seems like a nice guy. Uncle Sam will keep me safe. But it turns out Uncle Sam is just a dirty sex trafficking pervert. Because cause you do know that's what a lot of slavery was about. It wasn't just about the indentured servitude, the, just the, the stolen labor, you know, produced by the bodies that were chained. 
No, no, no. It wasn't, it wasn't just that. It was the sex trade. White women have been fantasizing over black men for a long time. Same way white men have been lusting after black flesh for a long time. See, you and I were born inside the empire. They tried taking us as children and putting their ideas in our heads so that we would willingly pull the white hood over our minds. We ain't innocent. And until you reconcile with that, you're going to wrestle with all that shame and guilt inside that has you cognitively dissonant and whitewashing history. There's no shame and guilt in saying you were a child lied to. There's shame and guilt in doubling down on white supremacy and reinforcing it in your own mind. Because all that does is serve the patriarchs that you're all upset about. Imperialist, patriarchal, white supremacist, colonial, resource extracting, industrial, capitalism. It came out of the minds, out of the ego of violent white European men who wanted to subjugate all femme labor and make sure the trophy wives were directly under the thumb. Can't go anywhere because that's how abusers are. And they taught a whole bunch of women to be that girl boss. You can own your own plantation too one day, honey. Just incorporate it. And now you got a bunch of wealthy white women that have their little financial empires on this planet right now who are making billions off the death of black women in Congo and in Sudan and in Kenya and in Haiti and off the death of brown women and their children and their families in Gaza in Palestine, in Lebanon, in Syria, in Afghanistan, in Kurdistan. And the list goes on and 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 on because of the white empires that went around the world with the doctrine of discovery and all the nice nuns that were teaching the indigenous children in residential schools. White women ain't fucking innocent. Stop pretending. Because as long as you pretend that you're not culpable, as long as you pretend there's not blood on your hands, as long as you pretend that you were innocent with what they put in your head and you never once harmed anybody, you're spiritually bypassing reality and you're going to remain cognitively dissonant and hurting people. I know you don't want to hurt people. I can hear it in your tone. I can tell it in your words but you weren't given the education to fully understand your working class oppression. That's not on you. That's on the abusers. So as you see indigenous people and black people and other marginalized people trying to correct you in your whiteness, since you don't seem to understand what it is, it's a culture of violence. Genocidal, land-stealing violence that only cares about money, not people. Because it's delusional and spiritually bypassing the reality that we're all living, breathing beings on a planet in space and we need each other. It's not equitable because a whole bunch of us are still bypassing that reality spiritually, emotionally. We're not emotionally evolving through the grief that says, holy fuck, look at all this blood on my hands and then doing something about it with the rest of your life to make sure that liberation is a reality instead of something we just play about on TikTok for fucking likes. Pardon my tone, I'm pretty passionate about this because whiteness is killing the world and creating an extinction event. We're not only more black people, more indigenous people, more, more brown people and more Arab people and more people living with disabilities. More marginalized people are going to suffer and perish as we follow the white male ego implanted in all of our minds off the fucking cliff.
because they made some of us believe that we're innocent just because we're not the overt monsters in the world. Honey, I was born a transgender woman. I was born queer with autism and ADHD, as femme as, as they come. I had that beaten out of me. I was assimilated in violent white institutions where our history was whitewashed and where the truth of the books that were burned in May 6, 1933 never made it to my classroom. I understand the violent training ground that we endured as children. I understand how they tried erasing every one of our identities, every one of our European, you know, generational historical family cultures and giving us nationalist ones full of whiteness. Canadian, here you go. Do you speak Gaelic like your, your, your Scottish and your Irish ancestors? No. Do you, do you speak with those accents that your ancestors a couple of generations ago over on the other side of the pond had? No, it's all been whitewashed out. It's all been Canadianized, eaten up by the machine. And a whole bunch of white people don't realize we were born assimilated to these empires because we had white mothers who taught us all the traditions of it as our fathers were teaching us the violence of it. We were kept assimilated for 13 years in schools that don't have graves out, graves out back like residential schools do because we didn't know any better. Indigenous kids did. They were like, this is all fucking madness. What are you doing believing in this? Because their parents connected to their holy spirits, the land that our bodies are made out of, and this universe of power and spiritual wonder help lead their children towards the truth so that they could embody the love and the life that they are not like white kids who are born with all of that disconnected from us and we're the whole time trying to figure out who we are appropriating identities whitewashing history in order to confirm our internalized biases instead of facing those cognitive dissonances the fear within them and accepting the truth that liberates our minds from the cages that white men and their violent egos that have been projected as terrorism placed us in. Under their thumb, right where they want us. Allies and accomplices to creating this plantation in space that commodifies and exploits every life on this planet that breathes with it. We ain't fucking innocent, honey. So you did the first video, which was taken down. And you said that you waited to see if the video would be taken down, which TikTok eventually took the video down. You didn't listen. You did not stop because obviously you violated TikTok's policy because of what you said in that video. You proceeded to make another video still tagging black women so i took some screenshots of comments randomly so you guys can see what other white people said about her video please pause to read if you want to now it is the way she looked into the camera saying that she is two percent nigerian for me it doesn't sit well like something is not right and people are saying that she did this video literally tagging black women saying she don't do slavery and all of that now i would say that it is not that black women do not like you it is just that they do not feel safe around you literally y'all have proven to black women that they are not safe around you so that is why black women are keeping to themselves like they just want to be on their own and they are literally tired Anyways, people have recommended some books for you to read if you are claiming that you do not know the reason or the reasons. 
anyways you guys i thought i should you know do a part two so you guys can also see what other people said especially from her community what they said about her video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video share comment and of course come back for another video i'm gonna see y'all in my next one y'all stay blessed bye Thank you.